So now we will see like the alignment topic in the Civil 3D platform. So first of all, we should know what you mean by alignment. An alignment is an object in the Civil 3D. So this alignments we can able to consider as a center line for our roads and then for our corridor designs. So and we can also able to use this alignment for profiles. We can able to go for vertical and then uh, this kind of profiles in the Civil 3D. So here we have that option. So we can able to use alignment creation tools and we can also convert some AutoCAD objects to alignment using this option. So first we will try to use this option create alignment from objects. So I am just going for line command. So like this I have created some AutoCAD lines. Now if you want to make this as alignment, you just go here and then go for create alignment from objects. We can able to select lines, curves or polylines. So you select, 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 select and then once you completed you just put enter and then it will be showing you the arrow. If you want to reverse this arrow, you can able to reverse it by clicking R in the keyboard. So you can able to click this. See here we can able to go for labeling. See alignments label set. So here we can just go for all label or major and minor only. So now I'm just going for all label. And we can able to add our radius also if you want. Now for this I'm just going to remove it. And then we can able to erase the existing entity. Otherwise we will be having the lines also. So erase existing entities and then click OK. See now we have got the alignment. So with the lots of stations. So this label also with alignment we are getting. This is what the alignment. And then this is what the labels. Now I am just drawing another uh, some lines. So just I am using line command. And if you want you can able to join it also then it will become polyline. So J enter then it will become polyline. Now oh, it is a single entity. Now we can able to convert this as alignment object. So just go for create alignment from objects and then select it. Now you put enter and you can able to put the direction if you want. And I am putting enter. Once you enter the direction, we can able to like uh, make changes over this platform. So I'm just going for all labels and now I'm going to consider default radius of 200 meter or you can specify whatever the meter you want and erase existing entity and click OK. See now we are getting the 200 meter radius over here. So like this we can able to create our alignments in the civil 3D platform. And we can able to make use of the grips over here and I'm just going to pull it down or even you can able to make use of this icon. This grips you know, this grips we can able to make use of. So now I'm just going to delete these alignments. Now I am just going to like uh, create some lines and where I am just going to use fillet command. So fillet and I am putting a radius, click radius and then you can just go for 150 and then select you are getting there. Again I am just going for another of a 300 and then another of a 400. And another of uh, some uh, 600. Okay, like this I have created some AutoCAD entities. Now we can able to make use of this to convert this to alignment. So alignment, create alignment from objects and we can able to select one by one. We can't just select everything using this command. So like this we can able to go for selecting the lines and curves 
and once you put enter it will ask you the direction so if you want to reverse you can reverse it and then we can just go for major and minor only and then you should not put radius over here we already like a designed a radius using fillet command so remove that and then click ok see now we got so like this also we can able to like uh, create alignments now also we will be getting the grips so using the grip we can able to edit now we will try to use this alignment creation tools over here when you click that you will be available with this uh, dialog box we can able to name the alignment if you want otherwise it will take alignment 1 alignment 2 it will be considering next counter and we can choose the type as center line or offset or cup ridden rail or miscellaneous normally we will be using this uh, alignment for center line no need to change the type and we can able to describe what it is and we can able to specify the starting station see here it is like 0 plus 0 meter it is going to start and then if you want to put some uh, design criteria you can able to put here see design speed it is like 100 km per hour like by in inbuilt we are getting these values okay so no need to change this or if you want to make some changes to use criteria based design you can put that and we can able to like uh, select which criteria you want so this much of criteria we have for minimum radius table and then transition length table see here it is like a two lane or four lane this we can able to select and attainment method that also we can able to choose from here otherwise you just remove it so default we will be getting so when you are clicking use criteria based design then use design check set we are getting this option over here so this is something like a style we can able to select the style or we can able to create new style so which type line curve spiral a super elevation or tangent intersection like that for example if i am just putting spiral and then add and then the spiral checks uh, here it is coming this is something like a design check okay by default no need to like do any changes over here i am going to delete it and i'm just going to cancel it so i'm just removing use criteria based design we will consider the default settings now we can just go for alignment style to be basic or existing or intersection basic layout offsets are proposed or we can able to create our own style also by here and the layer also we can able to select from here and labels we can able to select from here now once you click ok we will be available with the alignment layout tools so here we have tangent tangent no curve method and then tangent tangent with curves method and then curve and spiral settings so if you want to make some default changes over here you can able to change when we are just uh, using now by default it is coming 200 meter if you want to make that 100 meter we can able to specify over here there also we have some types different types we can able to make use of so the result will be different so now it is like asking for start point right so we can able to follow the command bar so i started it so next point and then now you can just go like that and then once you've completed you put enter see now we are getting the alignment with the stations or with the labels we are getting for particular stations now if you want to like go for inserting a some point so just uh, see insert and you put enter once you put enter it will consider that point also and if you want to remove the some points you can just go for delete and you put this and then it is like a showing you the preview once you are okay with the preview you can put enter so like that we can able to insert and remove points in this alignment and we can able to break apart for example i am just clicking here and then enter distance by which to split it pick point near pi to split
see now we we input like a two splits so based on that we are getting this one now i'm going to undo now in this alignment layout tools we also have some options over here if you want some fixed line we can make use of this section if you want some fixed curve we can make use of this section so i'm just selecting this one and i'm just going to draw an arc so second point and then the third point and put enter once you put enter it will become alignment so where you can able to make use of different options over here and the same we can able to make use of the different option over here for a line for example here we have fixed line from curved length so i'm just taking that now it is asking for start point so we can able to only select the curve so i'm just going to consider this curve and then it is asking for specify length so you can able to put some thousand so put enter so it will become alignment so like this if you want to just uh, go for some other option this floating line this things we can able to start from a curve and we can just go for fixed line best to fit also but for that we should need points we can just uh, input points uh, from our coco point or we can consider autocad point or we can just uh, we can just choose from some entity or by clicking on the screen by clicking on the screen i'm just going now click ok now one two and then three based on the three point i'm just putting enter we are getting a one alignment okay now i'm just going to put ok now based on that we are getting the alignment right so in this alignment layout tools we also have some other options like uh, floating line with the spiral we also have some options over here and then a uh, free spiral curve between two entities where also we have lots of options and we can also just go for free compound spiral so spiral in between two curves where also we have multiple commands so whatever you want you can able to make use of it for different alignments and now we also have one option for convert autocad line and arc so this option only we also have here create alignment from objects both are same see for example i am just going to so i am just going for fillet some radius so radius of 100 see now i am just going to take this option so select and select and select now it became screen which means it becomes alignment once you put enter it will accept so after that we also have like a reverse sub entity direction so i am just going to select a fixed line or something but it is not selecting so selected entity must be part of the main entity so this is only for sub entities okay and this is like a, again for delete sub entity and then this for pick sub entity and editor and then this is like table a grid view so now we don't have any like uh, alignment sub entities now we can also go for undo or redo now i'm just going to close it now we also have some other tools over here like a create best fit alignment this we already seen inside the tool itself when you clicking it then here we can able to go for input type as autocad blocks autocad entities or cogo points or autocad points like that the same here also we are getting okay based on that we will be getting like a best fit alignment now we don't have any points otherwise i will uh, uh, create some uh, so i will create some point here and it is asking for elevation right See now I have three points. Now I am just going for alignment, create best fit alignment. Now I am just going for cobo points. And then here we can just go for choosing all points and click OK. Now based on the points, we will be getting a one alignment. We have three point only now, so that's why we are getting this one. This only we already seen inside the toolbox itself.
Now we can able to go for some other alignment methods, create alignment from corridor, create alignment from network parts, create from pressure network, create from existing alignment. So now I am just going for create offset alignment where we can able to like to create offset for our main alignment. So like this, when you click that and you can just go for selecting alignment and where you can able to specify the left and right side incremental value by default it is like 3 meter and if you want label you can put otherwise no label so i'm just going to click ok see now we have got like offsets for example again i'm just going for create offset alignment and selecting it and i'm just going to put the summer phi and phi so click ok so once you click ok we will get the offsets now i'm just going for create widening option over here so select alignment it is asking so i'm just selecting this one and uh, you want to like create a new alignment it is asking no i'm just going to modify this alignment i'm just going to put no itself and now it's asking for starting point for example you can click the start in start and then end station for example end station now it is like by default taking the widening width of 8 meter you can take as it is and put enter see now these parameters we are getting and if you are okay with it you can just close it otherwise you can able to modify it now close it now we got a road widening this is something called road widening so this set of tools we have in alignment section in the civil 3d platform